up just here in the quad cities working alone and then just been building it up ever since and uh, the barges i got the uh, first barge from riverstone here quad cities in 2000 and uh just because i thought it would you know really make a statement about our rivers without even having to say a word piling all the stuff up so did that and uh then just been building the operation up and now it's uh the only river cleanup operation like in the world and uh so uh, it's pretty good. Coordinating through city cleanups and with our sponsors and going to different grain elevators up and down the rivers and, and uh, releasing, making press releases to make people aware we're coming through and doing river cleanups. And then it, everything kind of builds on momentum, you know. The first year there might be two people that come out. Next year they'll tell people and there's four. And then it just, like this barge party, I mean, now there's probably seven or eight or people come to it. I don't think the first year, how many people were here? 300. 300. So, so it just kind of, you know, it's just kind of a chain reaction. Cedar Rapids and all the other, Wisconsin, all the other places went because of the devastating floods that hit all these towns. Uh, just amazing amounts of uh, trash, but also some great people volunteering to make it happen. The scrap metal all gets recycled. Uh, the tires will get separated and, and get recycled. And just recently we started recycling the plastic barrels on a bigger scale. Um, and then all this stuff unfortunately goes to the landfill. And if you notice, the, one of the biggest things you see in there is styrofoam, and uh, I think that just, uh, it, it, it makes me aware as working with the organization, just like I try to cut down on my styrofoam use. Am I perfect? No. But it, it made me conscious and aware of it, because it can't break, it won't break down. And I mean, look it. If you were to pick out the two things, it's plastic and styrofoam. Uh, last week a kid gave me a grenade. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, that's what I said. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Fire in the hole! No, I didn't do that, but I did. it was drilled out, so. But uh, I don't know, found a fake leg last week, and you never know, man. 